Hey, g'day people, it's Matt here from Matt Carve. So today we're going to carve that morale mushroom. We're going to use uh, Mini here to find the wood. Uh, she's actually found the wood. So this is the one that I made last time. A little mushroom house that I placed in the forest out the back of our house. And I had this piece of wood left over. So now I'm debarking it with the Cutsall Extreme Shaping Disc. And don't get that profile confused with the Cutsall Dish, which is on the bottom there. And the Cutsall Disc, which is on the top there. Okay, so we're just shaping the top of the mushroom now and you always want to sort of like turn the wood in the jaw horse so it's sort of you're not getting any odd kind of shapes with your body trying to lean over it or anything like that and you can see that I'm actually carving with the guard on a lot of people don't carve with the guard on but I haven't been carving for too long with a angle grinder so I quite like the guard for two reasons uh, well it's a guard and hopefully it might protect you a little bit if it uh, kicked back but also it actually forces you to carve in one area of the disc grinder and what that does is when you do get a kick back or a kick it's only going to go in one direction because most likely you're only going to be using that front of the blade so if you have that guard off you can get kicked back in any direction because if you think about the shape of the discs it's all moving in different directions and if you hit the back of the disc it's going to shoot out in a different way so it's looking pretty good there i've sort of shaped it up a little bit all around and what am i doing here i am just sort of like um putting in the bottom of the mushroom Okay, so I use these two bits to put the holes in the cap. The one on the left is the little terrier. It is very aggressive and it's very good at uh, putting holes in, but it's a little bit harder to control than the Cutsall Sphere. But it was quite good just to put in sort of general holes and then go back with the sphere and tidy up the holes. You also found with that other, the terrier, is it tore the wood out, so you had to kind of repair it. Now you don't really have to have the terrier to do this, uh, you can do it all with that Cutsall Extreme Sphere, uh, it's a very good sphere, uh, well beer, and it was really good to use. I wouldn't want to use it on any harder wood for this amount of work, but uh, you can see it there, it's just really nice to control and all that, and it's less dangerous than that, uh, the terrier one as well. Okay, so here's the ad kind of spool. Um, I'm a Cutsall affiliate. I have a link in the description. Pretty much it gives you 5% off and I get a little kickback from it. It really works well if you're in the United States because you get free shipping. Uh, I think it's quite expensive shipping around the world, but I do believe there are some shops around the world that sell these beers as well. You just have to sort of like Google search them. But if you could help out the channel by going through my affiliate link, that would be uh, awesome. And if you could hit that like and subscribe, that would be great as well. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we've still got a, quite a way to go. So we're still on the cap here. I'm doing some staining and everything coming up. Well, it's not staining, it's wood dye. But uh, that's coming up very shortly. So the trick is really with wood carving like this is you want to sort of refine the burrs as you go along. So you can see here I've gone down to a smaller burr so I can get closer to the other 
fits sort of that sphere is a little bit wider than this one here uh, cylinder I think it's called and then I went down to the fine sphere just sort of like to sort of tidy things up and you can actually do this actually takes off wood quite well and it leaves a reasonably smooth surface you know not too bad but I always I on all my carvings I tend to go in after this with a cutter burr Okay, so this is the Caterbur. It's really like a, I guess what you could, what would you say? It's like a planer, you know, it's like slicing through the wood. And I'm actually using that uh, little terrier to give a little bit of texture down the bottom. Those uh, sort of like bladed bits are really good for texturing. Okay, so I'm going to wood dye the top of the cap, and so I am putting uh, beeswax onto the stalk just to protect it from any drops that go down. Now this isn't a stain, it's a wood dye from, I think it's Brie Wax, and I've put on, I think that's Antique Pine. I don't really need to put on that one because it's pine, it wasn't too far off that, but what I wanted it to be a little bit darker, so I got, I think it is antique mahogany and I put that into the pores. Look my turkey tail on the mushroom stump. I got my knife and sack, gonna harvest a bunch. Mushroom on the stump, mushroom on the stump, mushroom on the stump, mushroom on the stump. Mushroom on the stump. 